Hey y'all, so it's Tuesday and I was in the kitchen cooking and I figured why don't I show them a video of what I'm making and lo and behold, it's related. It's not tacos, but it is nachos. So let's see what I'm cooking up right now. All right, so we've got some onions I'm sauteing and I'm gonna do some mushrooms in this batch as well. And then I've got some this is not real ground beef. This is, if I can get the camera to focus. Not me. <laughs> this is some vegan ground. Um, you can use any vegan ground you want. I just went, my pan is sucky. <laughs> it always sticks to the bottom. But it's okay, I'm gonna use some water and uh, get all that flavor right on back in this meat. But I, uh, I use impossible grounds, I use beyond grounds, I use generic grounds. I, I probably won't eat much of this today. I mean, look, it really looks like ground beef, y'all, but it's not. But I probably won't eat any of this today. I'm trying to uh, kind of come away from all the processed foods. And uh, yeah, really it's gonna be quick and simple. Um, got the grounds, got the onions. I'm gonna add some mushrooms to this. And then I'm going to make my vegan cheese sauce. Alright, I've added some mushrooms to my onions. Focus please, camera. There. <laughs> so, I usually use a full... I used to get like a small batch of mushrooms, but that wasn't enough for us. So, I got a serving towards two. Because when the mushrooms cook, they shrink down. And you end up with pretty much nothing. So, now I'm going to let that saute down. And I've added nothing to this skillet, but probably a little bit of uh, grapeseed oil. Um, the rest of it is the moisture coming from the mushrooms. Look how pretty they are, y'all. So good. Can't wait. Alright. And, <laughs> yeah, I cut them. So I bought the pre-sliced mushrooms, but they were so big still, so I had to cut them down just a little bit more. And then over here, I've got the Impossible Grounds. See what I tell you? Look at my skillet. It like took up half of the meat, like right there. But what I'm gonna watch what I do to it. I'm gonna get all my meat, <laughs> well, vegan meat, and incorporate it in. This literally takes no time to cook. Um, the Impossible Grounds took maybe about three minutes for the brown and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some I bought store-bought taco season I know it's not the best all the things that are in it but again this is for my family we're transitioning still um, as we get better and better at making dishes finding things that are not so time-consuming um, we'll make better choices it's just right now we made the best choice to cut out meat in our um, view of things and to kind of find things to substitute until we get fully incorporated. So I'm just going to add some Old El Paso taco season, the original mix. Again, I know it's not the best ingredients in there, but hey. It's for a quicker meal. Add that. Add some water. Blend, mix this stuff up. And get some tacos. Oh, I'm sorry, nachos. So I'm just going to pour it and do pretty much... What the directions say. <laughs> but I'm going to add a little spin to it because it's I, because I can. And as Tabitha Brown says, it's my business. If y'all don't know, I love Tabitha Brown and everything she does. So I'm going to add that water. It said two thirds cup of water. So I've added that water and I'm just going to mix that up together. Stand by. So I've got that all mixed together and you see how I've got most of that off the bottom. Now I'm going to turn this heat down so I don't burn my stuff. It doesn't make a whole lot, but it makes enough for them. And if I want a little bit of it, which won't be much of it, but I'm going to add in a little bit of some a taco sauce. Like This is my favorite taco seasonings and sauce. so. Yeah, Let's pour a little bit of that in there, just a little, not a whole lot, you don't need a whole lot, and I've turned it down to simmer, 
let that mix together and we'll make our plates we got the onions and mushrooms sauce in. I'm going to turn that down too because I like cooking things super fast and be burnt something up. <laughs> I've done it. I burn up stuff sometimes. So I try not to. Alright. So as these finish up, I'm going to go over here and make this cheese sauce. Then we can make our plates. Now the star of the show are lovely cashews for the cheese sauce. Of course with some of you know, Old Faithful, some nutritional yeast, um, just some turmeric for color, a little bit more flavor with some smoked paprika, oldie but goodie, garlic powder, some onion powder, ooh, <laughs> uh, some lemon juice, and I just went ahead and bought that lemon juice because I felt like it, didn't feel like squeezing lemons today. Some chili powder, a little bit of salt, and some water, and then I'll add some uh, jalapenos to give it a little spice. Got it all mixed up. Um, I have to separate it when I use my Ninja because my big blender is at the other house. So I've got it all mixed up. I'm going to place it on my Ninja, blend it up, and then we're good to go. Alright, it is all done. It will look a little liquidy, but once you put it into the pot and heat it up a little bit, you just can't tell. Oh, I forgot my cat, my jalapenos. I put it in this batch here when I put it in. Alright, here it is in the consistency. I've added a little bit more turmeric to give it more of a green, green, more of a yellow color, cheesy color. But, get poor. Nacho cheese sauce. All right, so I'm gonna top this and put me some lightly salted tortilla chips on the bottom. Sometimes I do do the Doritos uh, sweet spicy chili because those are vegan as well. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this in layers. So I'm gonna put some cheese sauce down first. Look at that. Here you go. I'm always gonna waste it. I'm trying not to make a big old mess. Okay. Drizzle some cheese sauce. <laughs> Put me some mushrooms and onions on here. This is what I mean by, like, I put all that in there and this is literally what's left. Mushrooms and onions. A little more cheese sauce because <laughs> that's that what the brown says. That's my business, y'all. And then I'm going to top that with some guacamole and some sour cream, vegan sour cream, taco sauce, and a little uh, shredded lettuce. Pause. Shredded lettuce, spicy guacamole. I decided to add a little bit of the meat, and I've got my sour cream, add some taco sauce, <laughs> and then I can eat y'all. Add my taco sauce, guacamole, meat, a little bit of it, sour cream, and deliciousness. I'm gonna taste it for y'all. I added a little more cheese sauce because I wanted to and a little more mushrooms and onions and then I got some sauce under there too. It was looking a little wimpy. Now <laughs> it looks good. Look, girl, move you up. You just had to put your plate on display. That's just the little one's plate. She has to be on display. Okay, now we're going to taste it after we pray. Lord, we come before you, Father, just thank you and praise the Lord for the hands of the prayer this meal. Father, we pray that you continue, Lord, to watch over and continue, Lord, to let her know that she's appreciated. Father, we thank you, Lord, for having something to eat. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing, Lord. Thank you for your provision, Lord. Let the food be nourished into our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
All right, because y'all never see me eat any of the food, but I really do eat it. I be milling. So I'm going to try it for you guys to just let you know how it tastes. You know where to dig in at. I'm going to go. Mm. I'm trying to get some of all of it, though, so we can, like, really taste it. Let's go right here. Now that I don't have it all. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's just so good and so much of it. It looks like a lot, it's not a lot on my plate. All right, I'm gonna have to use the fork. And scoop some over there. And get a little bit of everything on the chip. <laughs> Still ain't enough over there. I'm trying to be polite, but I'm not the meal, y'all. You hear my husband down there crunching already. Smacking his fingers. He he eating. <laughs> I can't get it out there. All right. Oh gosh, I lost all of it. All right. Made into a burrito. I mean, a not a taco. taco. <laughs> there you go for your not so taco Tuesday. Here's a taco. It is taco Tuesday. Kids. All right. Here goes. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I say 8 out of 10. Sorry, but it's 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to eat. Uh oh. I've got some cheese in my mouth. I hope y'all enjoy the video. Be blessed and less stress. Shanti speaks and about to eat.